Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to find the size of the web element. So let's get started. In Selenium Python, in order to find the size of the web element, we have to use a command known as size, simple size command case, okay? So you have to find an element and for that element, you have to apply the command size command, which will return you a dictionary containing the height and width of the element, okay? I'll show you practically anyhow. This is how we have to use the size command in Selenium Python, guys. The size command with the element that is found. For this element, what is the size? For this provided element, what is the size of this element? The size will return you in the form of a dictionary, guys. It returns in the form of a dictionary. Dictionary containing two keys with some values. Values are nothing but the height of this element, width value of this element, okay? Height and width are the two keys of this dictionary that will be returned by the size command, okay? Let me practically demonstrate uh, the size command for you. For that, I'll switch to this PyCharm IDE where some sample Selenium Python code is already written for opening the Firefox browser, for maximizing the browser window, and for opening the application URL. But here, URL is not mentioned. I'm going to mention that. So I'm going to mention this URL, guys. Uh, that is tutorialsinja.com slash demo URL. I'll copy this URL and paste it here. So why I'm mentioning this URL is I want to find the height and width of the search button, okay? The width is more here, height is less here, right? The search, search web element on the web page. What is the height and width of this element I want to find? I'll inspect the search button, search box field, sorry. The search box field, text search text, text field. And, uh, you know, uh, let's find the search field. Uh, it has a name locator, guys. Copy this name locator. I'll find this search box field with the help of name locator, first of all. I'll simply write down driver dot find element by dot name and give the name locator of that search box field and simply say dot size. The size will return you the dictionary, okay? You see, it will return you the dictionary, uh, which contains two keys, that is height and width. I'll show you that. So here I'll simply say uh, search height, search box uh, uh, size otherwise, okay? Size. If I print this uh, search box size, this is not, nothing but a dictionary, right? Dictionary will be printed, here, okay? If I print this, a dictionary containing a key, two keys and uh, their values will be printed. Height and width of that particular uh, search box field in the form of dictionary keys will be printed again. Here I'll simply say driver.twitch to close the browser. Run this code. In the output, you will see that dictionary will be printed again. In a while, after the script is run and the browser is closed, you will see in the output console that the dic uh, dictionary containing the two keys height and width uh, for that representing the height and value of that particular uh, search box will be printed again. You see, the dictionary got printed. In curly braces containing two keys that is height having the value 40 width having the value 373 3 point something okay now there is another way where you can you know right by using the dictionary commands like a get command of dictionary we can pass the key of this particular dictionary and can get the height and can get the width also like for example here dot get off in that you provide this height guys okay provide this height it will give you the height height is 40 guys here height is less 40 whereas width is more 373 width is 373 guys okay so here, similar way, I'll write print of search box three uh, box size dot uh, get off. Here, I'll give the width, guys. Okay, width uh, key I'll give here in the get command of dictionary. Double quotes you have to give and width. And now run this code, you will get the height and width. First, you'll get the height that is 40 and uh, width uh, 373 uh, point something will be printed in the output console for that search box field. Size command will retrieve the height and width of the any web element on the web page. You see, first height got printed, then width of the element got printed. So this is how, guys, we have to use the size command in Selenium Python to retrieve the size of the web element in the form of height and width. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.